Hello, and welcome to a brief tutorial on our Inspire computer-based assessment. I will show you a bit about this testing environment, our question types, and some tips for completing the assessment as efficiently as possible. So here I am at the start of our practice questions. The first thing to notice is that there is some text before the actual questions. We call this the case. The case includes important information that you need to answer questions. The information relates to the workplace, the client profile, health status, etc. Each case is associated with between 4 and 12 questions that all refer to the same client and context. Read the case carefully first and then begin answering questions. Here we can see that the first question is a standard multiple choice question, our most common question type. For this one, simply read the question and select the best answer. Once you've selected the best answer, press Next. The case is fully displayed for your reference anytime. However, you don't need to read it carefully again. Just scroll down and read the next question. Question two is a multiple select question. You can tell because the selection boxes are squares. Notice that if you try to select more than two options, you aren't able to. It's not possible to make an additional selection because the number of correct answers is only two for this question. The number of correct answers for multiple select questions will either be two or three, but you will always be able to only select the same number uh, as there are correct answers. So once you've selected the options you think are correct, select Next. Again, just scroll right past the case again, unless you want to reference some specific information. And you'll notice question three is a sequencing item. For these questions, you want to just drag the text boxes into the correct order that you think it should go in. Once you've done that, click Next. Now question four is a hotspot question. These questions are asking you to locate places on an image. You locate these places by clicking in general areas. Similar to the multiple select questions, you can only click a number of times equal to the number of correct options. Notice if I try to click a third time, my first click disappears. So there's only two correct options for this. Once you've uh, clicked in the areas you believe are correct, again, click Next. Now, question five is a composed text question. So for these questions, you need to write an answer in your own words. For these questions, we will always indicate an approximate word count for your response. For this one, it's 20 words or less. So I'll write my answer. Click next. Last practice question. This one is a composed voice question. You will need to speak and record yourself to answer this question. For these questions, we will always indicate a time limit for your recording, 60 seconds, and you will always have three attempts. Click on the microphone to begin recording, and then click stop to end the recording when you're done. If you want to use a second attempt, you can click the garbage can to remove your attempt and try again. That's all for the practice questions tutorial. I will click complete and confirm to finish this practice test. Best of luck to you on your Inspire assessments.